Hi you guys, I am back with another video. Welcome to our channel. We are going to try to make ourselves a lined beanie, but first we must embroider it. Of course, it would not be normal not to embroider something, right? So here is the pattern I use. If it turns out good, um, I'll post it, but there's only like one size. So I might have to find another link to one that I watched some friends use. Um, I'm using a green cheetah type print and then some brown. I thought I was going to be stuck doing just brown, but I'm not. So we're going to have lining and we've got some cheetah print. So we're going to embroider this cute kitty cats. It's supposed to be just Mama, three colors. Hold on. I'm doing a video, baby. It's only three colors. So it should be a pretty fast stitch out. Mommy, so I'll be me. right back. Okay. No, no, you're cutting stuff. No, don't push buttons. You can push the green one. Okay, keep your hands back. All right, and here we go, you guys. That's mine, Mommy. No, don't touch anything. Okay. So now we're starting our stitch out. I have a little helper. Yep. Evie. There's my helper. Hey, don't touch my machine. Be right, watching. Guys, this is gonna be a. Be watching. Yeah, you're watching. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Um, so I will be back when it's ready for the uh, next color. Here is how far it is. Just wanted to show you guys the kitty is coming to life. Um, the hat piece. Alright you guys, we are on the second piece right now, or second color should I say. It is the black. So we have a solid white cat, and then we have a black outline on the cat, and then there's going to be um, a black um, set of tails. The cats are both going to have black tails, and then there'll be an outline of the cat. <laughs> it's, um, it's going to be um, Kind of like an open cat, so it's just going to be an outline of the cat. And it's going to be kind of cool because it'll have like that purple and green leopard print. So once this is done, then... Okay, you guys, so it's got the outline of the cat. And now we're putting blue hearts on it. And it's already got pink on it, so Eve decided blue hearts. So there we go. Oh, and now it's done. It is done, so let's see if I can take Mommy, this out. Dad? No, we don't need any more colors. Ooh. I've got zoomed in a little bit. Hold on a second. All right, you guys, we are back. Um, here's what it looks like. Let me, hold on a second, Eve. She's real excited to get the plastic off. There we go. Isn't it cute? Lily's in the other room. Oh, Oops, careful. Playing a game, so she's kind of loud. Sorry, you guys. There we go. All right. Go ahead. You can pull that off. It's like Christmas to Rue. She likes this stuff. Oh, it's getting there. Yep. I'm going to help you a little. I'll lift it. You can pull it. Or we can get it now. We might be able to get it all now. Thank you, Mommy. Yeah. You yeah. and your little hands. Get there, huh? Hello! <laughs> Good job. Uh -huh. Nope, nope. You don't mess with those. Those are Mama. These are Mama pieces to do. Don't want you to get hurt. Pokies. Good job. She watches mama quite a bit. All right. 
I'm gonna take that piece off. Oof. Okay, careful. Hold on a second. Oh. Let mama do some really fine snips here. It's a really cute pattern. I'm not 100% sure where I got it, so if I find out, I will. Mommy, oh, I'm sorry. Do it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're going to leave the tiny pieces. You can get the big pieces. It don't really matter because this is going to be on the inside of the hat. Here, I got this one lifted a little for you too if you want to get that one. There we go. That's pretty good. We don't we don't need to get any more of it, Rue. We're gonna lint roll it though, so we don't get any of these extra threads in my sewing machine when I sew it together just in case. Alright, let mama move this up a little bit. Hold on, Sky. Now the dog wants in. There we go. I think we got it. All right, let's turn it over. We'll let roll that area. That's right. Right here we got some of the water soluble. There we go. Can you tell I rolled a, a dark fabric last time? I, I don't know what I what I do with black. Oh, this might have been. Oh, it's when I was doing um Christmas blankets. There we go. All right, I'll be back with my sewing machine. Okay, you guys, we're at the sewing machine. Um, it shows to do right side to right side. And with fleece, it's really hard to tell which side's the right, which side is the wrong. But if you pull it, um, oh, the stretchy side, it will curl under, under. See, curling that way, this is the back side. So you want front to front, and they show to um, pin it. At the bottom, opposite colors. If you're having two colors. If not, then just put two of them together. Um, not 100% sure how much these are really needed, but I'm sure fleece kind of slides around. So we'll see. So if I can turn it that way. Zoom you in a little bit more. To I have my walking foot on, so I am hoping that helps. So we're sewing this right to right side to right side. Make sure you back stitch. And we're sewing a quarter inch seam allowance. get the second one done I'll be right back okay so we got we got our seam done for at the bottom I'll just open it up a little bit and then of course a dark color hold on what up hold on a second we're going to put our we gotta zoom out a little bit so you can see where our V is we're going to stay on the wrong side fabric, fold it, pin it, or clip, do all four. This one I lost the tip on, so hopefully it'll be all right. And fold it, make sure you have on the, the wrong side, same as this one. And I'm going to sew these a quarter inch. Yep. All right. Quarter inch. Actually, I oh, may not have room for these clips. Make sure you back stitch. Always back stitch. Clip the 
ends in a few minutes. The other two done and I'll be back okay you guys so we got the corners or the um the V's sewn uh, closed so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip the end of the V don't cut your threads if you do you just need to rerun um, a zip through it you can spread it open do that to all four of them what I did there we go all right now that that's done oops now we're gonna do good side to good side make sure they're right side so your colors match unless you want them opposite I guess you could you have a front and back panel they're opposite but I'm not gonna be doing that one second you guys let me zoom out a little bit more so now we need a pinner or clip it and these very important seams so right here we're going to do it then we're going to do it right here there we go and then we'll go up here do it right where our V um, Matched up. Oops. All right. Ah, oh, my hands are not working. They're really tired. There we go. All right. Now I have to clip it all the way around. So I'll be back. All right. Now that I have it clipped all the way around, I did a little closer here compared to the rest. Um, we need to leave about two to three inches open so we can turn it inside out. And since this is the lining, this is my lining, um, or what I'm gonna consider the lining, um, I'm gonna have the opening here. Okay, so we're gonna zoom around it. Try not to kick my machine around, my tripod around here. Okay. We're going to have to move that one. But I know to leave that hole. We're going to do a quarter inch all the way around. Just leave that spot open there. It seems like with a, uh, a walking foot, it helps a lot. Alright, going over these thick seams, I would recommend slightly slow unless you're doing this in a maybe lift your foot a little bit unless you're doing this on a um, industrial or something that you know is over thick not all not only industrials but, um i just don't like to zoom over over such thick areas and i think this brown fleece is a lot thicker than the pattern fleece I have right now. So, I mean, we're up in the mitten and we have cold winters, so we definitely, definitely need, um, make sure your seams are open. Um, definitely need a, I'm gonna help lift my foot up a little bit. Need a nice thick mat. Um, yeah. yeah, see, this is a lot thinner. So that all. It's nice and thick, but I don't know um, if I 
but I truly needed the line there. Try to maintain about a quarter inch. Foot a little bit. Yeah, I might have scooted it a little, but it's fine. It's not gonna hurt it. My hand's getting all in the way, you guys. Kind of hurt. I have a really good angle on this on sewing without being in the way, of course. Make sure my seams are open. Oh, these guys try to close on me. No, we don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna lift the foot a little bit. Slow and steady. Okay, we're getting to where we need to stop. I'm getting stuck in my fleece. There we go. Alright, you guys. Now, I believe, get to turn it inside out. I'm going to reach for this side, pull this side. In the background, I had to rewatch what they did so I could um, do it and show you guys how I do it. I mean, this is my first one I'm doing, so. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's starting to really cool again. All right. There's our inside out hat. Ooh. Okay, you guys. Now, you tuck in your seam, pin it if needed, which I'm going to a little bit. I'm going to throw a small stitch in here. I'm trying to make sure I get my opening. There we go. Make sure you reverse. I'm going to try and make it close enough to the less than a quarter inch. I want to say 100% an eighth either. So it's kind of an in-betweener. There you go. It's closed. Now what you do is push this inside. Definitely have to lint roll this when I'm done. Fleece grabs everything. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at how cute it's turning out. Now I need to do a small stitch around. I'm just trying to make sure it's good. Right around here. I'll be right back. All right, let's do the top stitch. I'm gonna start kinda in the back. Put it up on, I took like, I don't know what you really call it. I call it the tool, the toolbox because it's kind of a, kind of a toolbox. I'm gonna try my hardest to do about an eighth of an inch. Eva's singing out there. All right, let's try this. Slow and steady, I'm gonna try, and of course I have wet, white thread in, so you're going to be able to see it. Okay, here's a really thick spot. Help to guide it. And then All right. I think I ended up moving a little more than an eighth of an inch right there, but really thick so 
Eve, be nice to her. Oh what goodness, no. Evie's playing with that. Ah! Sorry, you guys. I can't up you when I'm sewing, baby girl. We're just gonna have to wait a minute. Make sure all the brown is tucked in. And of course, here comes another seam. Goodness, Eve. She has to be over here. Evie, no, no. Mama's foot right there. Mama's foot's right there. I have to have that foot to control. I can't move my foot right there. No. Mama's foot has to be right there. Sorry, you guys. She's really curious. <laughs> I don't blame her. I went way off track. All right, you guys, try to keep on track. Don't help. I was just fighting a toddler for. No, 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 no. Don't put that up there. To be. She has to be right here. This is fine, except she was trying to put a stool on my foot. My pedal foot, especially. Thanks for throwing all my threads on the floor, Evs. <laughs> I don't know what her obsession with thread is, but man, baby, she finds baby, thread. She plays with it and then throws it on the floor. I'll pick it up in a minute or two. We're getting to the end here. And then back up. Here we go. Oh, I think I ran out of bobbin. Well, I will finish this up in a moment. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me have to do a bobbin because I have to do some more, but I have to do a bobbin. But let me raw stretch it out. Zoom you guys up. All right, you guys. Let's hope I can figure out how to cut that out. But there we go. There is my hat. What I was doing was trying to foof the inside. There's the lining. And you could flip it. It's supposed to be a reversible, but I wouldn't recommend it if you put a broidery on it to flip it. Because, well, who who wants to have a scratchy embroidery on their head? But the cool thing is, is once it's lined, you can't feel the embroidery on the inside. So that's pretty cool. So there you guys go. If you enjoyed this tutorial and the goofiness within it, um, please hit the subscribe button and also like this video because it helps me get in the algorithm. And please leave me a message down below. Um, we really like reading them and replying. So till next time, you guys. Bye and keep on crafting. It doesn't want to stop. Hold on, you guys. What do you think, Evie? Cool. Show mama. Show mama. Say bye, everybody. Bye.